reason I swear from inside I could feel it Now here you are Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Way to be a combo breaker. Way to be a combo breaker. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. It's fine, I guess, but what I really feel isn't meant for public consumption. winter. I guess Abraxas has some extra cash to throw around, with Krampus cancelled. Obviously I get why, but I'm still bummed we're not doing Krampus on campus this year. It sounded like fun. You're only a freshman. I promise there will be more Krampi in your future. Assuming you stay on Vince Goodside. <laughs> Vin loves me. Uh, Vin loves me, right? Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Too little, too late. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine?
Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Speaking just for me, four-day work weeks, no classes on Fridays, it's a slam dunk, Reti. Maybe resubmit in the spring? I don't know. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Maya Okada. Her name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I wonder who she was. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's... Borderline adorable. Listen. I'm... I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but... She was an amazing person, and... We're all gonna miss her.
You two knew each other? She never told me. I mean, her mom is my boss. <laughs> good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha!
Sure, I could go get that package for Vin. One more thing off his to-do list. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming friends. Oh, friends at least. Maybe with a few benefits. Oh, 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 yeah? Such as? Such as fetching packages from down the hall. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. One favor, delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max, I, uh, so, I'm a hugger, um, are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Don't worry. We'll get into that display case. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. This is definitely easier than breaking into the case. Everyone, 
students, faculty, staff would benefit from a shortened work week. I mean, your grief group meets on Fridays, doesn't it? Yeah, I... I have to admit, this is a bigger outpouring for Safi than I expected. The student died when I was at Yale, and the response was half this. Real subtle way to mention Yale. Hey, name dropping is pretty much the main perk of teaching at an Ivy. It might be the only one. <laughs> Though, I doubt that student could write like Safi as a freshman. <sighs> nope. Nor were they the university president's kid. In one way or another, we're going to be feeling Safi's death for weeks. Don't worry. We'll get into that display case. Gwen? I uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh... Well, it's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey! And... You need the one in the case? You got it. Expensive display, cheap lock. You love to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? Imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Hold on now, you might 
feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Jasmine's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... a husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Give them a chance. I'm sure they're doing their best. This is their best? What a horrifying thought. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Sofia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. 
Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Sofia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. I... Thank you for saying so. It's all right, Aaron. Go ahead. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Of course, just reach out to Vin. I'll tell him to make time soon. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. The board is always trying to catch me on my back foot. Yes, I've looked them over already. Overall, yes. I will email you feedback next week. Taking a photo is the least I can do for Yasmin. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen.
Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. The one thing all visual art has in common, light. Moses looked drained. No surprise after everything. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Oh gosh, yeah, this isn't what it looks like. I was just waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast.
I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Lowell and Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind... That shit's behind me now. Stories? More like rumors and gossip. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Oh, hello there. Which mailbox did you fall out of? Which mailbox did you fall out of? Looks like somebody's been passing notes in class. Ugh, 
Of course the sender doesn't put a name on it. Okay, who are you, DGH? That's the literature chair. Wrong initials, though. DGH would sure be a strange way to spell Benny. There isn't even a D in this name. Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. So, the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. if Moses forgot his hot chocolate. These are pretty extra, but I think Safi would have appreciated that. Oh. You like the rose. It's beautiful. Thanks. Of course, nothing can happen on campus without some kind of a Braxis commentary. I can't leave Moses lost in his thoughts. Alone. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by Saint Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick.
Moses seemed really torn. Shut up about this prankster. They're vandalizing someone's hard work. Didn't Plato distrust artists or something? Maybe that's why the prankster targets art. Oh, what a theory! Did you learn that in the first 30 minutes of a philosophy class you dropped? Or maybe they're pranking artists because you're all so good humored. Where's Kim? The movie starts soon. We have time. She always runs late whenever we go somewhere. What do you think the next prank will be? It's been a few days since they flipped those paintings in the snapping turtle. Unbelievable. I assumed you'd have some appreciation for art. Kim does. All day. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Skycat attacks. Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. Don't you think they should have told us something by now? About the murder? Whoa. Who said anything about murder? The email said there was a death. May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning goth kid with his first skull balloon. Not only does it look like Amanda, they even got her hair buns. She's probably lots of students' muse. Moses seemed really torn up earlier. I'll bet they've got quite an eye for photography. Three of them, even. Amazing. Like most places, Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. Despite that art prankster at large, I think this one is actually right side up. I wonder if Moses forgot his hot chocolate.
So, scratch marks? You mean like, from talons? Big scary talons? Come on, I never said that. Like Mothman? You and your cryptids. Well, I'm not hearing any better explanations. If a cryptid killed her, would it even be considered a murder? Doesn't murder require premeditation? Cryptids can premeditate. Statistically, people are murdered by someone they know. Like a boyfriend or a sibling or something like that. Oh my god, dude, do not. <laughs> do you think this chick was dating Bigfoot? You're being so disrespectful. You're the one spitballing that she might have been strangled to death by the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil doesn't strangle people. No, you're right. He's from Jersey. He'd use a gun. Do you think they'd tell me if I made an inquiry? Why would they? You're not her friend or her family member. You're just a silly little boy who loves the Loch Ness Monster. Jerk. Would you like me better if I was part moth? Like if I had a moth for a head? It might be an improvement, yeah. I can't leave Moses lost in his thoughts, alone. Maybe I could bring Moses that hot chocolate. Hey, can I get a hot chocolate? For Moses, right? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Moses seemed really torn up earlier. Thank you. Really. Here. To warm you up. All right. I totally forgot. Thanks. I don't even know where to start. I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days, have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. 
In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Carmonero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. Who knows? Maybe he had a breakthrough or something. You know, like, he was visited one night by three ghosts who showed him the error of his ways. That's at least a six ghost, two night job. <laughs> Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Street. I pause to catch my breath. A receding shadow lurks in the periphery, beyond on the overgrown. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? The grass in the fallen bird's nest. It peels back the bitter cold. If it Jeez, Lucas. Your class must be freezing. Light across my heart. A wild, stirring arrhythmia. Morning. Diamond does not look happy to be here. Again, those first pieces... Seems kind of, you know, December in Vermont for a field trip. Mr. Colmanero said we needed to commemorate the loss of one of our own. Can't you commemorate inside where it's warm? You'd think, but... Um, permission to speak freely? Permission granted. Professor C wants the whole campus to see how torn up he is. It's all a big show. Truly. Whomst among us has suffered as he has? Oh, shoot. I didn't even think... You and Safi, how are you holding up? I'll leave the eulogies to Mr. Colmanero. Maybe I should rub the toe for luck. Mine's been pretty shitty lately. Maybe I should rub the toe for luck. Mine's been pretty shitty lately. He 
You'll be missed dearly, Sophie. Jeez, what a dick. Where did Moses head to? Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? I can't really talk about it yet. Not like you. Would someone else like to speak? Great. Diamond, please. Come on up and share with us. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Nobody will acknowledge how terrifying this whole situation is. Let's stay on the subject. Okay, Diamond? Like, we can grieve and still talk about how- Maybe I should rub the toe for luck. Mine's been pretty shitty lately. I didn't know Safi well, but a woman of color, just like me, was murdered on campus. That's scary. That has a real impact. It feels like everyone wants to act like Safi's dead. Here if you need anything. Isolated Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Poor Moses. He really hasn't been the same since that night. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? We both know it wouldn't. What I really wanted was to see Safi shut him up. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm. Hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm gonna use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer.
How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? Figure it out. Now that's the vulgar boulder I fell in love with. Decorations? But all the holiday stuff was postponed until next week.
earlier. Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one touching you. It's time for our cocoa. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating on teacher rating. I can't believe Max would just stand me up. You're supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you would charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Will you give me a break? I haven't been this supernatural bullshit since high school. It's not like riding a bike. Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. 